Welcome back. Y'all, I told y'all I ain't come to play this week. I know I missed a week off, but I am back and I ain't come to play. We jumping straight into this video. I am draping my client down. About to give her a good wash. And y'all, we're going to talk about how to perm rod your client's hair or just your hair at home and how to get the perfect curl and also how to get you know do hair the proper way when it comes down to alopecia hair also guys i learned a little trick to zoom in so you guys can see exactly what i am doing but you already know what i'm doing i said i am washing her hair um i will be using the aluplex products shampoo and conditioner on her hair just to give her hair extra strength, shine, and bounce. I am not playing games with this hair. Um, her hair can be a little bit brittle due to, you know, some medical problems, but we're not going to worry about that. That's why I am here to help her hair. And also, we are also discussing about, you know, how to keep her hair protective in protective styles. She does like to get her hair silk pressed a lot, so I wasn't really concerned about a, a perm rod set for her because I knew that her hair would set the proper way. Sometimes a lot of clients that don't get their hair all the way straight in a lot or just wear their hair natural, sometimes the perm rod sets can be a little bit more poofier. So I do like to give my clients an option where I blow dry them out really good or I straighten them or I just do it wet. Whichever option they pick for how they want their hair to be curled, that is the way I will go. I always give my clients that option. I never miss that step in the process at all. All right, I'm going to let you guys finish watching what I am doing. Also, guys, big tip. Please make sure you rinse out all your shampoo and conditioner. You do not want anything left on that scalp because it can become very itchy and very dry to the hair. Always remember to rinse. You can stay rinsing your hair for 5 to 10 minutes extra just to be secured about if you like that conditioner super thick you might want to stay a little bit longer i always give that tip to all of my clients anybody that i know just because i know that those steps can be missed all the time also please make sure you use a clarifying shampoo and also a moisturizing conditioner and shampoo as well please do not miss them steps. If you're just using the clear and fine shampoo, your scalp is going to be very dry and you're not adding that moisture back in there. So y'all, please follow these steps. And if you guys want more tips on how to properly wash your hair, please drop down below and say more tips, please, for wash and conditioning sets. And I will give them to y'all. been deep conditioned under the dryer for 15 minutes and now we are about to jump straight into this process guys all the products that i am using i will drop down below for the um, heat protective products i will be using the same as all just been testing out the same products just to see if i like it on all hair type but we're going to jump straight into the blow drying process i just want to give her hair a really good straighten and yes same thing nothing has changed i would let you guys know if i do change my products around for the heat protective product section but nothing has changed and also i'm going to show you guys how i made her hair look a little bit fuller due to the spots of alopecia it is a big step that i have to do so for this blow drying process i will be using the powder brush to give her more volume and then i'll end up using the comb with the blow drying attachment to just blow her out all the way 
So if you guys have any questions about how I blow dry when it comes down to certain type of hair textures, I will let you guys know. But I like to use the paddle brush just to give her more volume. It just makes her hair look a little bit more fuller instead of just bone straight. So I'm going to blow dry the rest of her hair and I'll come back and talk to you guys on the next step. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel, y'all. And if you are new here, welcome to Trendsetter Beauty, where you get to see me work and do other things on my daily basis of life. <laughs> please, y'all, please like and comment and share and subscribe and welcome welcome please i am not against anybody if you have any questions or concerns please ask and if you feel like this video can be a little bit better please tell me that i don't mind you're not going to hurt my feelings at all <laughs> so but in the meantime y'all i'm going to let this play out i'll see you guys in the next step
and parting off her hair because she does want smaller braids in the front and in the back she wants the beautiful bouncy curls so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna braid off the section and i'm not gonna speak in this part because you guys already know how to do this and if you guys want tips on how to learn how to braid we can have a talk about that but i'm not gonna talk about this on this video just because it's already a 30 minute long video and i don't want to talk to you guys that long i would like for you guys just to watch and you really can't see me do the braids all like that so i'll see you guys in the next step
sorry i kind of skipped past the rolling step all i am doing is just rolling up the part where i braided her hair at and i did put rubber bands on the ends so those braids will unravel with the curl and we are getting started so i am making these parts a little bit bigger because i want them to be a little bit more fuller and i don't want them to be super small to the point where you can see through them so i am taking the paper and i'm just smashing in like a sandwich so i am going a little bit fast in this step i'm going to see if i can slow it down for you guys so you see where i take the two wraps and smash them in together like a sandwich and all i am doing is just making sure her hair is smooth and i want to make sure it's on directly on those ends so when i use the roller as you can see i'm going to roll it in between the roller and then i'm just going to turn it so i am left handed so it can be a little bit difficult but i am just rolling and rolling and rolling and i'm just going straight in so I'm going to try to slow this down one more time. Let me get this roller in real quick so you guys can see. So what you want to do is part your hair again. And don't get too close up to where the spots are at. You just want to make sure you're rolling the proper way right here. You're not going to roll differently when you get up there. So I'm going to keep talking to you guys until we get into the part where you guys can see. Because I did not turn the camera around while I was doing this. I was just trying to put them rollers in, y'all. Also, I just will only be using the purple slash pink roller rods. I didn't use the orange ones. If you guys see them, I only use those ones. I like those ones better because they're like small slash medium and they just give it more bouncy look. But let's slow down the process right here. So I did put my product on and I'm just smoothing it throughout her hair. I will take a comb and I will smooth it again just to make sure. And also the excess product, I am smashing it down at the root. And like I said, I'm going to take the two wraps in wraps and smash them together like a sandwich because I want this hair to be straight and smooth. So in order to get this, you want to make sure you do that step. Do not miss that step. You can do it without it, but your results in the ends is not going to last that long, girlfriend. So, and like I said, I turned it a little bit, and I'm just going to roll and roll and roll. Now, if your hair is super curly, you can rod the hair using the Rocky Method. And I'll show you guys in the future how to do that, just in case you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. And I'm going to do it one more time. Put some product on her hair and also guys i am using nairobi foaming wrap if you guys don't know what that look like i'm going to drop it down below so you guys can ask questions use that comb any excess product i'm just going to put it on the root put it at the root put it at the root repeat the process all over again put some product on take the comb comb it in put it at the root take them in wraps go to the end smooth it a little bit smash together like a sandwich it should look like a receipt y'all <laughs> and we're gonna take that roller go ahead and get the roller girlfriend and row then turn need to turn yep turn thank you turn and row and row and row and row and then clip it off at the bottom and also guys please make sure that piece of rubber part is clipped the proper way because it will make a line in the hair and it will make the rollers fall out so i'm not gonna slow nothing down no more if you guys want more i will do that when i get a little bit closer up to the top of the head you guys have already seen how to do it i will see you guys in the next step
Okay, guys, we are coming to an end. I am on my second to last roller. Like I said, y'all, I did take my time. This process was speeded up. That's why I slowed it down for you guys. But where the alopecia parts are at in her hair, I did make those parts a little bit bigger. And I just rolled them at a little bit of a different angle. Um, I apologize for not showing you guys that. But it's still the same method that I did on other all of the other rollers. Nothing changed. It just made the parts a little bit bigger. That's all. But if you guys have any more questions or would like to see more hairstyles on alopecia please drop down below and say more hairstyles for alopecia i will give you guys more and more and more so here we are again put some product on that piece of hair take your comb well let me go let me go at her speed take your comb comb it out and i do apologize for you guys not being being able to see but all i'm doing is combing and i'm using the end wraps to smooth them and i am beginning to roll here in a second she's taking her time <laughs> okay let's start rolling and rolling and rolling like i said y'all please turn at the very tippy top and just roll and I made sure these rollers were comfortable into her head and I didn't want them super tight. She is about to go in the dryer for an hour and 30 minutes. Depending on how her hair dries, she would probably go in there for an hour, but I like to be secure and I do an hour and 30 minutes. So we'll see you guys when we get back and we take them rollers out. Okay, y'all. So I did fast forward a little bit too fast. I didn't get to show you guys her being in the dryer. But all I'm doing is taking these rollers out the same way how I rolled them in. I'm just rolling them right out. And them end wraps, throw them in the trash. Please do not save. We don't save over here. <laughs> and I'm just going to take these out and I will show you guys how to separate the curl without breaking the curl. slowing down this process and showing you guys how i separate the curl and y'all as you see i do it a little bit slow even though this is on fast speed but i'm just rolling the curl how it wants to be rolled and you see how that curl bounces right back that's exactly how you want that hair to be it just bounces right back and you want to separate them into threes and if you can separate them into fours good luck but i only do three
would look like we're coming to an end. I'm just fluffing out a little bit more curls and I'm going to take a big tooth comb or a pick and I'm going to pick out in the areas that I know that needs to be filled in. But you guys, you see how magic it was? It disappeared. You can barely see it. You really don't even be able to see it. And here I am showing her how to um, go to bed at night with the silky scrunchies. Um, I recommend that to all of my curly hair girls or anybody that is doing a perm rod set. It does let your curls last a lot bit longer. Always remember to oil your scalp at the end. Don't over oil it. Just give a little shine. And she is all finished. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one and bye.